number six on a 71 degree night in Cleveland, Ohio. And here we are. It's the World Series with Cleveland up three games to two. I know we talk about his confidence, but here he is facing the Cubs with three days of rest. So they just saw him back in Chicago. Give me the Cubs lineup and it's much different tonight because of the DH spot. Dexter Fowler leads it off, then it's Kyle Schwarber, then it's Chris Bryant, who's back in the number three spot for the first time since the 3rd of July. That Bryant's been third and Rizzo's been fourth for the Cubs. Selbrist, Addison Russell, Wilson Contreras, Jason Hayward, and Javi Baez. That's to third, one away. Caught by Ramirez. Pull everywhere. And he does. To the right side. Kipnis, two out. High fly ball in the air to left. Cubs strike first. Tape measure shot by Chris Bryant. Rizzo. That's into right center for a hit. The 0 1 to Zobrist. That's in the right center, a base hit. Rizzo will turn and go. First and third with two out here in the first. In the air to center. Nate went to his left. Chisholm and roll. Neither one gets it. One run scores. Here comes Zobrist. Throw home. Safe as the ball gets away, and Russell ends up at third. And a big misplay out in right center. It's 3-0. Another chance in right center, and Naquin says, I've got it. And this time he handles it. But the Cubs down three games to two. Come up with three in the first. Bryant started it with a home run. And the Cubs have come out swinging in game six after a half. Lead 3-0. Top three of the DH, Carlos Santana, then Jason Kipnis, then Francisco Lindor. In the middle, it's Mike Napoli, Jose Ramirez, and Lonnie Chisenhall. And on the back end, it's Coco Crisp in left, Tyler Naquin in center, and Roberto Perez catching and batting ninth. Against Jake Garrietta, the reigning Cy Young Award winner after his 22-6 season a year ago he backed it up with 18 wins this year one two pitch struck him out and a good start for Arietta. to the right side Baez with a backhand and a flip a two out walk is out number three and Arietta bookends the first inning with strikeouts Indians leave a man, and after one in game six, three nothing, Chicago. Is that any other brand as Hayward skies one into right, and Chisenhall will drift back to get it. One pitch, one out in the second. You can learn more about Chevrolet. That's up the middle, tough play. Kipnis throws across his body. Got it. Fowler skies one into right. Chisholm near the line. Tomlin comes back with a one, two, three, second bottom half. Three nothing Cubs. Struck him out as Ramirez chased it up and away. One down. Throwing hard tonight. Here comes a 2-1 to Coco Crisp. Left side. Bryant waits on it. Arietta, good start. Two scoreless third inning rolls in game six. Cubs batting heart of the order coming up. They lead it by three. Three two. That's a leadoff walk on a borderline pitch. Here's Bryant who homered his first time and he gets this off the end of the bat. He's getting better swings. Long run and in that Bermuda triangle again. It's Chisholm Hall. As Naquin. Rizzo with another base hit, two for two. And Schwarber will end up at second. We'll see if Francona is going to go any deeper into the game. Hard hit base hit. Schwarber will be held. And the bases are loaded with one out. 
The bases are loaded. Tomlin is gone. Otero's coming in. Opportunity for Chicago as they already lead by three here in the third. Earlier than Terry Francona wanted, it's Dan Otero. 2-0. Chicago. Nineteenth in World Series history. Two hops to lean door to his left. Two out. Hayward pops it up. Out goes lean door. Inning over. Good things happen. In the inning, Tomlin is chased. Russell chased one out of the park, a grand slam in the third inning. It's seven to nothing as they celebrated Murphy's bleachers in Chicago as the Cubs try to force a game seven. Got him looking at 95. There's a fastball and strikeout number five. Fly ball to center right at Dexter Fowler. Two down with a seven run cushion. Ground ball to Rizzo. The flip, the out, and Arietta's in charge, and so are the Cubs in game six. Seven to nothing, Chicago after three. It rides up and in. Salazar went down in September. A strikeout of Baez starts the fourth. Strikeout from Salazar, back to back, two out. An understatement, especially on the infield. Steady goes the other way, into left, Crisp is back. And a good inning for Salazar. Bottom of the fourth here in game six. Cubs are celebrating so far tonight, not so for Cleveland down seven. For the Indians, six and one. Here's one into the gap in left center field. This ball is off the wall. And Kipnis will dig into second with a leadoff double. He went around on a pitch in the dirt. That's in the left center field, will get down for a hit. It'll score Kipnis and put Cleveland on the board. It's 7-1. 2-0. -oh. That's in the right field. Hayward's got it. And a big second out here in the fourth inning, and that's exactly why Jason Hayward stays in the lineup. Good jump, good catch. Two down. That hits Chisenhall to put two on. That gets away from Contreras, and the runners advance. Loads him up. Struck him out. Arietta into and out of trouble. And through all that, the Indians get only one. Trail by six into the fifth, game six. Back after this from your local Fox station. That's a two strikeouts. Hard hit left side. Lindor knocks it down, but no chance. And Bryant is heating up. Field in this game. That gets away, and down to second is Bryant. With nobody out. Rizzo pops it up down the left field line. Long run. Oh, by Ramirez. What a play by Jose in foul ground. What a a strikeout for out number two. Way Russell. Which he does. Got him looking. Strikeout number four. Salazar gets out of trouble in the fifth. Halfway through game six. Cubs lead it. Seven to one. Hitting with the bases loaded. That's down the chute. And goodbye to Roberto Perez. Strikeout number eight parade. Same year. Here's a pop up on the infield. Rizzo took his eye off the ball for a moment, has it, two out. Kipnis hits it deep in the left at the wall. Kipnis, goodbye, seven to two. A one, hard hit right at Rizzo on one hop. And that sends game six into the sixth. Solo shot, Kipnis.
three in the lineup for Chicago Contreras Hayward and Baez. But that's what you're seeing the Cubs do a lot. Hayward gets under it skies it into right again. Chisholm Hall. Here's Baez sticking the bat out and getting a base hit. And that's a couple times now Javier Baez has gone up the middle and he. It's in RPMs as Fowler flies one into left center. And there they are again. Naquin flashing in front of the left fielder Chris. The inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning rolls in in game six. Indians will bat down by five. A swing and a miss on the very next delivery and a strikeout starts the sixth. There's that. Fly ball into left, pretty well hit. Back is Zobrist, two out. A two out walk. He leaves up by five with a man on and Mike Montgomery will come into the game with Crisp, the scheduled hitter. Good work tonight for Arietta. Favor Cleveland. That's why I thought he might leave in Jake. But one pitch. Russell flips for the out as Baez keeps his foot on the bag. And the force out ends the sixth. This ball came up on Russell, smothered it, gathered, and flipped for the out. And has his first hit of the night. On to start the seventh inning with Bryant coming up. Five star in the ALCS. Line drive, base hit, and a three hit night for Chris Bryant. That's into right. Chisholm Hall will come to get it. The runners will hold at first and second one out. Ingles in the first and the third, and now he flies one into left. Back is Geyer in front of the track, two out. And now the 2 1. Hard hit, but right at Ramirez. And the inning is over. Good job by McAllister to get around the back to back hits by Schwarber and Bryant. Time to stretch. Cubs lead, still five. On a line, right at Fowler. One out. Is 3 2. Is down for ball four. Here's a fly ball into center. Fowler has out number two. 2 0. Right side of base hit. Two on with two out. Kipnis a three hit night. One of the major reasons why this World Series got back to Cleveland. Ground ball right side. Chapman a race to the back safe. This one will be. Oh, replay. they may look at that. Meanwhile, right now there's he's already got the ball. So the question is, does the right foot of Chapman hit the bag before Lindor? And it looks like it does. This would be a major reversal that they add on and they didn't. Good work by McAllister. And now an out call at first. So the inning is over. And Chapman had to throw just a couple of pitches. The question is, is he injured? Jaw or Allen? Seventh inning as well. That's ball four. To preserve him more for tomorrow. Here's a double play ball off the bat of Hayward. Out at second. Got them both. If there's a game seven. That's strike three. And the inning is over. Clevenger gets around the leadoff walk. Bottom of the eighth inning rolls in. Napoli, Ramirez, Chisenhall coming up. Napoli went around, and that's a strikeout to start the eighth. That's into center for a base hit. One on, one out. Broken bat might be two. Out at Fuck second. It. What a job by Baez. Unbelievable turn by Javier Baez as he took an errant toss, stepped on the bag, and fires across for the double play, and that takes a load off a of roll as Chapman. A one two. 
To the right side for Kipnis. Fowler. A hitless night. And Slam took it to this point. Here's a high fly ball into center. Back on the track. Davis to up. Another hit for Bryant. He's got a four hit game six. Rizzo into right field. This ball is out of here. Nine to two. The lead is back to seven here in the ninth inning. Should end the inning. This is the 59th World Series game in Cubs franchise history. It's their first three homer game. Strope and Wood getting loose. Will one of them come in or will it be Chapman? Rizzo goes deep. Shows off the smile. Cubs up seven. A walk. And we'll see if that's it. Game time is 8 o'clock straight up. Or watch it all live on Fox Sports. High fly ball in the air to left. Back into the corner. It's Zobris for a long first out in the ninth. Here's a wild pitch by Stroke. Most part all Cubs tonight. Here's one into right. This ball will go into the corner. That'll score the runner as Geyer comes home. Throw to second and out for the second out on a throw by Hayward and a tag by Russell. Down by six. What a good matchup. Here's a four pitch walk to Santana. And no stolen base awarded. Kipnis. 1,508 games. There hasn't been a cycle, and there won't be one here tonight. This is Russell. Cubs have forced the game seven. Winning at nine to three.